Well, this is a wonderful story. I'm not sure the whole story has, uh, has ever been told. Ted had a temporary, uh, contemporary art show, and among those in the, that show was Klaus Oldenburg, and uh, had, had very nice pieces. And uh, evidently Ted had visited with Klaus about doing a piece for the outside of the museum, for the front lawn. Our family came to Kansas City in 1889, 1890, we're not quite sure when our grandfather arrived. But hundredth year came around, and I said to my brother, Neil, we ought to do something. You know, to sort of mark this, at least in our own minds. I contacted Martin Friedman, who was then working with the Hall Family Foundation, and said, Martin, do you see Klaus? Could you ask him whether he'd like to do this? for us, or would he do a piece for us here in Kansas City? And the word comes back from Martin saying, Martin, he'd love to do a piece for Kansas City, but it was Don Hall who sat here and said to Klaus, one of the things that I really would like to do would be to have something that would make a unity to the museum grounds. No one ever crosses the front lawn. He says, we've, we, we've, we've had people watch it, and nobody, it's like sacred ground that nobody will even walk across. And he says, that, that's silly. And so I, I will never forget the day that uh, uh, Klaus and Kosher come back to town. They're in Mark's office to present what they're going to do. And I, I am about as, I'm, I'm a nervous wreck. And, um, uh, so he shows the idea for the shuttlecock, which all I will say for the moment we we all saw it. And it was absolutely wonderful. This is Klaus's first drawing of the shuttlecock. I'm very pleased with them, and and most people I also know, as Estelle sort of hinted in her very nice conversation, there are people still who hate them, and I. I uh, but that's I. Art isn't really worth very much if it, everybody says, "Oh, isn't that wonderful?" I. I wish there hadn't been so much notoriety about it, uh, about people not. I mean, everybody doesn't see alike, and that I appreciate. But uh, it was, uh, it bothered me, yes, a little. I think uh, I would say that. What do you think of them now? Well, I have to smile because those people that I know well who do come up to Morton or me or both of us and say, oh, I just think those shuttlecocks are wonderful. And I think to myself, well, your memory's not very good, though. <laughs>